you know, we, we live in, I think, what is unprecedented times. I don't think any of us would have anticipated the challenges that we've seen in the last two to three years, and they've affected the world all over, um, the business sector, the private sector included as well. I'd say, if I was to summarize, there's probably three big challenges um, that we feel globally. First is the challenge that is emerging around the energy crisis mm -hmm. and um, energy security and energy access. Um, I think, by and large, all our economies, no matter where you sit in the global north, or the Global South need energy as a key factor for powering up economies, for heating homes, and really for driving countries forward. So I think challenges around the pricing of energy, energy access, also the fact that you know governments are tending to roll back on some of the commitments made around energy transitions and climate transitions really put us at a precarious place in terms of global agreements, um, for example, around you know, uh, mitigating um, the climate crisis as well as transitioning to green and renewable energy sources. So you know, at the macro level, challenges around meeting global goals. Mm -hmm. At the economy level, challenges around energy access and energy security. And at the household level, I think also challenges around the affordability and accessibility of energy. For me, that's one big one. A second one that we're also facing, irrespective of where you sit, is inflation and hyperinflation. I think one only needs to look at the headlines around the world and realize that not only are economies struggling, but also citizens are struggling. And at times when you cannot afford uh, to service your loans, you cannot afford to meet your household daily uh, basket of goods, suddenly places citizens and society at a precarious place. And what we do not want to see then is you know, civil unrest or societal concerns. And I think overall that is a key one. I'd like to frame it by one larger challenge, which is the challenges we've seen around um, the multi-stakeholder, multilateral world. Um, I think in the last two, three years, perhaps shaped by the challenges of the COVID pandemic, certainly by others, we are seeing nation states become a lot more inward. And I think that impacts and will impact business in a very um, fundamental way. Uh, the world is shrinking, becoming smaller, positions are becoming more insular, and um, it's not great for the multilateral and inclusive world that we seek to shape.